to unlock tier 7, you need to donate 1000 heavy modular frames, computers and motors into the space elevator. Doing so will unlock tier 7 in the hub. Right now there are only two upgrades for tier 7 and this video will cover the player process. To unlock this milestone, you will need 200 computers and heavy modular frames, as well as 400 motors. Milestone reached. A new generation of parts and building upgrades is now available, most of which are aluminum based. You will then have the ability to scan for bauxite resource nodes. And once you have found one, you can place a miner on it to extract the bauxite that will be used to craft some new aluminium items. Firstly, we have the aluminium or aluminium ingot. It requires 7 bauxite and 6 silica. Silica is made from raw quartz. This will craft 2 ingots. The aluminium ingots can then be used to make Alcad aluminium sheets using three aluminium ingots and two copper ingots to make three Alcad sheets. The Alcad aluminium sheets can then be used along with rubber to craft heat sinks. Four Alcad sheets and ten rubber per heat sink. Batteries can be used as a fuel source and can be loaded into fuel slots on vehicles. Eight Alcad sheets, 24 wire, 20 sulfur, and 9 plastic to craft 3 batteries. Radio control units are used as far as I know in the turbo motor and to craft one you will need 4 heat sinks, 24 rubber, 1 crystal oscillator and computer. Turbo motors require 4 heat sinks, 2 radio control units, 4 motors and 40 rubber and these can be used to craft the MK3 mine. I will cover that in a moment. MK5 conveyor belts and lifts have also been unlocked in tier 7 and can transport up to 780 resources per minute. Here is a side by side comparison between the MK4 and MK5 belts in terms of speed. The MK2 miner is capable of mining up to 240 resources per minute on a pure node without overclocking. The MK3 miner requires 3 portable miners, 4 heavy modular frames, 20 steel pipes, 5 turbo motors and 5 computers to build and will mine 480 resources on a pure node without overclocking. The automation of aluminium ingots requires inputs of silica and bauxite into a foundry. The foundry will forge 30 ingots per minute at 100% efficiency. Here I'm sending the ingots to a train station to be moved to my main base. Check out my guide on trains in the cards. The automation of Alcad aluminium sheets requires inputs of aluminium ingots and copper ingots that feed into an assembler.
15 sheets per minute at 100% efficiency. Select the recipe, apply power and then send the finished product into storage or to another machine. Thank you so much for watching, please subscribe for more.